What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Kotobokiya statue review on the Marvel Now Artifacts Plus Carnage. If you're trying to pick this up, you can order it right now. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And big thanks Kotobokiya for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, be sure to check the links in the description below. And this is a very cool looking Carnage already. I always like the packaging with these Artifacts Plus statues, looking very cool with the comic art in the background, you get the carnage symbol right there on the side, and more comic art in the back, and then you get some product shots, some concept art right over there, and the same concept art right over here on the side. Now the top says Marvel Now, and not much more at the bottom. Alright, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here is Carnage out of the packaging, and this is a sweet looking statue with all kinds of details in the sculpting over here that just make it look very awesome. Very, very good looking piece. I'm really liking the paint apps on here too. Looking very clean. I love seeing the fade on some of the black areas right here. We get this nice glossy black right there running through like veins. I think the head sculpt looks great. So let's take a closer look at this base and then we'll get a closer look at Carnage. And here's looking at the magnetic base. We get a magnetic base with all of these Artifacts Plus Spider-Man Marvel Now statues. Very cool. Nice felty material right here at the bottom and it is nice and hefty as it is made out of metal and very nice clean clean deco throughout. Tiny bits of scuffage from the statue itself being on here, uh, but nothing really too serious, right? But it does look very cool. Very much reminds me of Maximum Carnage. I like this a lot. Now he does come with a support piece right over here, and I do need to mention that there is assembly required with this statue. As you can see right here, it does come in multiple pieces. I just accidentally took the arm out right there, just put it right back in, so you can see how that looks. Uh, but you also get this support piece right here that's supposed to plug in to the right foot and without dropping it you can see how it just ports right here on the back come on I had this done earlier there it goes so it goes into his right foot uh, not the left this is the only one that has a magnet right here I do wish that he had magnets on both but you know you can see you can get him standing with that little support piece right over there I was able to get him standing without it though if you balance it properly uh, there you go, you can't have him using it without that little support piece, but I don't recommend this. I recommend either using the magnet base or, of course, using this piece right here. And here's looking at the head sculpt of Carnage, and it looks good, man. I'm really liking this. Love how the mouth looks right there. All the teeth look really good. I love looking at the silhouette. Now there's this thing going on with the eyes that is very hard for me to show off on camera and it looks really cool. Uh, it almost has this wax paper kind of look to it. I don't know how to describe it, but it has this interesting kind of subtle fade going on inside right here and it's very tricky to really pinpoint, but man, it looks great. Tiny minor scuffage going on right over here, or extra black paint on that side. But, otherwise, it looks really good. I'm mostly very pleased with how this came out. I really like how this black is bleeding throughout up top over here, going throughout the top on his head right there. I love all that sculpted detail. And plus we get all these tendrils right over here that look very cool. Uh, they're made out of fairly stiff material, but not so stiff where it feels like they're gonna break easily or anything like that. And I just love how this looks, man. That texture and that subtle paint right there and those creases. And then we have that strong glossy black paint for those vein sections. I'm calling them veins, uh, but they're not really veins, you know. But man, that looks really cool. Very nice. I'm digging this a lot. Look at that. That is awesome. Look at his right hand right there. We get some nice, very cool fading going on. Looks very cool. And then on the left side right here, this looks sick. I'm liking that. Very neat, man. I love how this fades right there. That left hand claw looks really good. I like that. It's kind of like some of the fingers molded together, melded together. And looking at the torso and looking at all the musculature throughout. It looks awesome. Very pleased with this. Just throughout the details are just incredible on this piece, man. I'm really digging it a lot. I have this attached right here, but just remove that. You can see the back of the heels right here. 
Uh, he does show up like this in the comics sometimes, not all the time, but there are times where I actually have seen him in the comics like this. I'm looking right here on this leg, it looks really good too. Man, very, very nice looking piece. Just want to get one more look on the back of it right here. Looking at all those veins and stuff. And right by the culo, he's got a tube coming out. And then, nice looking muscle leg right there. And the back looks great too, man. Woof! Very, very good looking carnage. Now to measure out this carnage statue with the base and everything right there, you can see he's standing at about seven inches tall. And then here's carnage next to the other artifacts plus Spider-Man Marvel Now statues from Kotobukiya. We have the Miles Morales Spider-Man, we have the Peter Parker Spidey Carnage, of course, Spider-Gwen and Agent Venom, which I have not reviewed. Uh, hopefully I get to reviewing this statue right here. But seeing all five of these lined up like this looks very cool and I think they're scaled together very well. And then comparing this carnage statue to your average six inch scale, Figure here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Let Down Spider Man. These actually scale together fairly well. This could actually work if you wanted to get a display going or something with your Marvel Legends, I think. So, yeah, again, I think Kotobukiya made a wonderful Carnage statue here. I really dig it a lot. I really only have one serious complaint, and I feel like the seamage right over here on this left shoulder uh, does stand out a little bit more than I would like it to. I feel like I'm constantly kind of having to go like that, but at the same time, it still fits in with all the little muscle definitions definition or all the little lines sculpted throughout over here so it doesn't really bother me that much and geez for the most part I mean this is just a very impressive looking piece very cool looking carnage statue and I hope you thought this was a very cool review if you did please hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know what you think of the review let me know what you think of the statue if you have not subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way and if you're already subscribed and you have not hit the notification bell please go ahead and do so so you know immediately when the next Shardimus Prime video is posted and I gotta give a big thank you to these awesome people over here that help keep this Shardimus Prime going. Thank you guys so much. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it's all over at MarvelousNews.com. And you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Shot, we shot, we shot in your face, I said we shot, we shot, we shot in your face, I said we shot, we shot, we shot in your face, I said we shot, we shot, we shot in your face.